So now we've got our table. It's just rendering out. It's not very interesting. And we want to add some dynamism to this table. So the first thing I want to add is that when I click on a table row, I want it to be highlighted light gray. So to do this, let's just head on back into the HTML file. And I'm going to introduce you to a new directive called ng style. Now, as you can probably guess, this is going to set the style of the elements. So the same as what you might see in standard uh, HTML. But what it takes as input is an object. And the first parameter is the style that you want to set. So we're going to set the background color. And the second parameter is, is the value of the style. So I want to set it to light gray, perhaps. There we go. So let's jump back into the Chrome browser and refresh. And there you go. So now all the table rows are highlighted gray, but not what we want. We only want it to highlight gray when we click it. So as you might guess, we're going to use the ng click directive. So let's jump back into the HTML. And I'm going to add an ng click on the table row. And I'm going to call a function called select person. And I'm actually just going to pass in the index of the person. Let's go and create this function in our controller. So let's call it scope select person with the index. Let's just call it index. And what are we going to do? Well, I want to set this index on another scope variable called selected index. So it's a null to begin with. And then for now, all we want to do is say is equal to index. So when you hit select person, we're going to pass in the index and I'm going to set that index on the scope variable selected index. But all we've done is add functionality. We're not doing anything right now to change the look and feel of the table. So let's go back into our HTML file. And we want to change this ng style so it's only light gray if it's the selected row. So we're going to use uh, what we need is like it, what we need is like an if then else statement and we're going to use the ternary operator to support that. So I'm going to say here if index is equal to selected index, so selected index is in the person controller, I'm going to say then light gray, else nothing. Okay, so just a quick review. So when you click on the row, we call select person, we pass in the index of the row, that in the person controller, we then set the selected index variable to the index of the row. And then as we loop through in TR for every single row, it's going to check to see if the current row is equal to the selected row. And if it is, it's going to have, add the style of light gray. So let's have a look in our Chrome browser. Let's refresh. And there we go. So now we are highlighting the rows on a 